Hey you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> Imagine if that was my new intro from now on. I wouldn't actually mind that to be honest. <laughs> Hello everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe through this very crazy and mad wild time that we are going through right now. It's honestly really strange because you don't feel the full impact when you're at home. Like it's only until you go out and you see no one out that you really get to grips with what's happening. Anyway, to throw some light on the subject, today I'm going to be showing you guys and talking you through my everyday evening skincare routine. That is a mouthful. I'm just going to be showing you what products I use every single day and then also some of the masks that I've been really enjoying using. My skincare journey has been very long. I have been through some ups and downs with my skin, let's just say that. But I am finally happy with the products that I use for my skin and I'm happy with how my skin looks at the minute. It's not perfect but whose skin is perfect and I'm just, I'm just living my life really. Just doing what suits my skin and using the products that feel nice on my skin too because that's really important. Not for them to only do good but feel good too. I have combination skin so I get really dry but also really oily skin which is super hard to find products for so if you have combination skin I feel you. I understand the pain and I understand the struggle. So anyway let's get started. The first product I really enjoy using is a face wash. Now I have never used a face wash until I got this. I never really saw the point or understood why because you wash your face in the shower with water but this wash works so good for my skin. It literally, if I take my makeup off and I use this, it takes off my makeup no joke aloe vera has something in it that literally dissolves makeup from my skin i don't understand it it's magic but i love it this is the body shop aloe calming foaming wash this stuff is so good it's so gentle and you it doesn't leave like a film on your skin it doesn't feel like you've used anything it doesn't dry out your skin it still keeps it nourished but it doesn't feel like you've used anything so that that's just a win for me i really love the body shop for skin stuff it has literally saved my skin i can't be more thankful for the body shop but this is the face wash i use first it is a foam wash which i found really pleasant to use it's very lightweight on the skin not too heavy and like i said you don't feel anything so this face wash is without fragrance which works wonders on my skin I have super sensitive skin to anything with heavy fragrance in, it just breaks me out completely and my skin can't handle it, it cannot hack it. So I'm very thankful that this is zero fragrance, it hasn't got any colourants or preservatives and obviously it is vegan too, so we love this. So the next product I really enjoy to use after I've washed my face is the Body Shop Aloe Calming Toner. Again, Body Shop, again, Aloe Vera. I like to stick with what I like. I don't really like to branch out too much with my skincare. This is so good. Again, it takes off my makeup like a dream. It leaves my skin feeling super silky. I don't know how that's possible, but it does. It leaves my skin feeling super soft, very, very hydrated, and doesn't feel heavy on the skin. Now, there are a few toners out there which I absolutely hate because they leave my skin feeling so oily. I'm not sure if that's just me or if anyone else struggles with that, but so many toners just leave my face so oily, which causes me to break out even more. So again, another reason why I like this. It is made for sensitive skin. Again, like I said, very sensitive skin. So I need stuff that is really calming. So this is why I enjoy this so much. It's super easy to use on the skin, it just glides on. I use this with a reusable cotton pad, which I highly recommend you guys purchasing. I will leave some links down below of the ones that I bought and also different companies that you can buy from. You can actually make reusable cotton pads by yourself. I know, you can actually make them. So if you're into DIY, you can make yourself some reusable cotton pads. But again, I will leave some links to some down below. So last but not least, this product literally saved my skin and has brought a glow back to my skin but also doesn't leave me feeling greasy. It is fantastic. It is the Body Shop Aloe Soothing Night Cream. I use this every single night. If I don't, I will wake up 
and not be happy because my skin will not feel nice but this cream so good it is literally a lifesaver if you struggle really bad from dry skin or acne prone skin i highly recommend this because again it is made for sensitive skin it's super gentle it doesn't leave you feeling oily but also leaves you with a nice glow to your skin you wake up feeling really hydrated and nourished and it really does help with red pigmentation i can't stress that enough i wake up and my skin's more of an even tone i love it i love this stuff so so much i'm so glad i bought it because it has literally changed my skin so much the next two products i'm going to show are two face masks which i absolutely love i find face masks really really hit or miss especially clay masks because a lot of them just really break me out and i don't know why they just really break me out but i was sent this lovely face mask by alia skin i believe this is their pink perfect australian pink clay mask it is vegan and it is cruelty free it says it's detoxifying and brightening and i completely agree with that i'm not saying this because i was sent this i'm saying this truly this is the only gentle calming nourishing and moisturizing skin mask i have ever tried this mask seems to do wonders for my skin and really works with the combination skin that i have all i do is i use this usually once a week just at the end of the week especially if i've been wearing makeup throughout the week i like to just whack this on give my skin a little break pamper myself maybe even wear it in the bath you know treat yourself but i really do love this mask highly recommend it and then the other mask is something i have only newly bought and i can honestly say instagram made me buy it i saw grace beverly speaking about it on her instagram story and i was like okay i've had enough of seeing people using it i must find out what it really is like i need to get myself one it is not expensive at all this is six pound sixty and i am yet to really see a difference but i can see a little bit of a difference and i'm quite happy with the results so far i've only used it twice so bear with you use it twice a week 10 minutes no longer than 10 minutes the ordinary products have always worked quite well on my skin i'm not fully yet to give you my full recommendation but i definitely would say give it a try why not so everyone those are my everyday skincare favorites the masks are just a little extra that I thought you might be interested in knowing. I will be doing some videos on some more skincare stuff. So if there is anything you would like me to try out that is vegan, please let me know down in the comments and I will try and buy them and try them out for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and got some skincare inspo. I know I love to be nosy and know what people use on the skin because I'm always very curious, but until next time guys don't forget to like this video subscribe hit that post notification bell and also don't forget to stay groovy and stay safe and i will see you in the next one bye guys